Let's do problem number 36. It says, consider the data obtained in a study of the relationship between the age of a car in years and the cost of repair work in dollars. The table below represents the data from 10 randomly selected automobiles inspected at the repair station. So we have the age of the car and how much they spent in dollars. Really interesting. And they have a bunch of questions. They want the correlation coefficient, um, the regression equation. They want a prediction for a car that is seven years old. And they want to know um, what the correlation is between the age of the car and the repair cost. And, you know, if it's positive, negative, or no correlation. Lots of stuff to do. So the first thing we're going to do in this problem is put all of this in StatCrunch because that's going to give us pretty much all of the answers. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to um, let me move it here so you could see. Uh, for the variable one, I'm going to call that x. And then I'm going to call this one y, OK? So x will be the age, and y is the repair. And now I'm just going to type in the data. So let me just scroll up so we can see. All right, so 9.1. Whoops, must have clicked something. There we go, 9.1, 5.4, 3.8, 2.0. Five nine point seven. Whoops, seven. One point seven. Three point nine. One point nine. Six point seven. Let me just double check. Everything looks good. Really easy to mess up. Eighteen eighty two. Uh, nine seven three. Four five zero. Six hundred. Eight hundred. 1123, 300, 646, 315, 1126. Let me just double check that. Really easy to mess this up, you know, with uh, data entry. It's a very, very common uh, error. I mess up all the time. All right, everything looks good. So now we can go get some answers. So we go to stat, regression, simple linear. This is going to give us a bunch of stuff. And then just pick the first thing, so x, pick the second thing, so y. I guess I called it x variable x, y variable y. And just ignore everything else for now and click Compute. And then here we have some answers. We want the correlation coefficient. Okay, so where is that? It's right there. So part a, I'm going to write that down. It's 0.8818. So, so r is 0.8818. That's pretty high, okay? That's a pretty high number. It's really close to one. Um, there's a table you can use, and there's you know there's something called a critical value and there's a level of significance. But when it's this high, it's pretty clear that you know there is going to be you know some some correlation here. That, that's a really big R. B state the regression equation. So B, that is right here, right here. I'm going to use a, maybe two decimals. So Y equals 94.64 plus 147.74 x, right? There's an x, there's the x, so x. That would be the uh, regression equation or the least squares line. And by the way, what is this line? Let me just show you because it's really cool. This is just, just to show you. If you click this little thing here, there it is. There's the line. There's our data. So you see you have some some you have a straight line pattern here, right? So really really cool. So that's the line. And these dots are the data points. Okay. What else do they want? Uh what is the predicted repair cost for a car that is 7 years old round to the nearest dollar? Ooh, okay. So <laughs> So basically they want us to predict y when x is 7, right? Cuz y is the repair cost and x is the age. So they're saying they're saying this. They're saying predict y when x equals 7. That's what they're saying in this question. So you can do it by hand. You can take this number and plug it in or um, you can use StatCrunch. Watch this. If you go to options and edit or just back to the screen and just scroll down right here prediction of y x values. Enter the 7 here. Boom, right there. Okay, so again, just scroll down and it's right there. Click Compute. And then you have to scroll down to see the answer. Watch. I'm going to scroll down with the mouse wheel. It's, there it is. Pred Y, right there. So it's 1129. 
1129 should be the answer. So roughly uh, 1129 right there. There's the X value, there's your prediction. D, D, uh, describe the correlation between the age of the car and the repair cost. So is the correlation positive, negative, or is there no correlation? Well, let's go back to StatCrunch and click this. So you see you have a positive slope on this line. So you have what's called positive correlation. So I'll just write positive correlation. And um, I guess they want us to write more maybe. So basically, uh, as the age of the car increases, the repair cost increases. So as the age of the car increases, so does the repair cost, unfortunately, right? It seems, <laughs> so does this, that seems to happen. So, you know, when you have a car and like, you know, your ward it starts, uh, it's not fun. So it seems to happen with older cars, you know, you get more and more repair costs. That's what this problem is about, right? I mean, uh, I don't know where the data came from, but that, that does seem to be the case, right? You know, the older your car, um, you know, the more you have to spend on repairs, unfortunately. So kind of a cool problem, not, not too bad. And it's all one stat crunch command, right? It's all, it's all stat, uh, regression, simple linear, okay? You pick the first thing, pick the second thing, and then just click compute and it gives you the answers. And then for, the part, for part C, the seven, let me show you where that, plug that in one more time. It's down here, you plug it in here, boom, click compute. And then the answer, the answer to part C shows up down here, right there. Good stuff. And there's your R. That was part A. And then part B was, was this, this line, the uh, regression equation. That's it. Good luck.